Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your girl Imani Christine back again with another video. Today I am sitting down to talk to you guys a bit of a life in Korea one plus year update. Um, instead of just talking to you guys, I decided I am going to do my makeup today so you guys can watch me do my makeup. We can chat about Korea, sort of talk about my first impressions, how things have changed, and where things are going. So if you are interested in hearing more about my experience living in Korea for over a year, then keep watching. Okay, so I've been in Korea now for over a year. I got here August of last year, and it's December now, the next year. Um, I was talking to one of my girlfriends yesterday about the first one of the first videos I made when I got here, um, basically my first impressions of Korea. And um, some of the things that I talked about in that video, um, which have definitely changed um, since then, is that like, oh, that's way too much primer. Oh, I don't wanna waste that. I'll just have to use it. One of the things that I talked about in that video is how I love that my students um, clean the school. I was like, wow, it's so nice. Like, the students are learning such a responsibility, you know, with such joy. They clean the school. And now, if, you know, a year in, it didn't take me a year to come to this conclusion, but it's like, no, 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 no. I really wish that our school had a janitor. Um, because although the, the kids clean the school and they don't seem to put much of a fuss or they don't really seem to mind cleaning the school, they're students, you know, they're kids and they don't really know how to properly clean and they aren't really being taught. So the school is like always dirty. They just like mop dirty floors, sweep trash on top of trash. They clean with like cold water and no soap. And of course this isn't every school so don't, you know, get the impression that Korean schools are dirty. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying my school in particular doesn't really have anyone there to like keep it clean. And the kids, you know, sort of half clean, but just in general, the building is like not the best. Um, in terms of teaching in Korea though, aside, you know, aside from me just being annoying about the lack of cleanliness there, um, it's something that I have been enjoying um, but I can say that after doing it for a year plus, it's become a bit repetitive. Um, as with teaching anywhere, I can imagine you don't have all of the freedom that you wish or hope to have. And I guess that comes with any job. You know, you have to give and you have to take. And I love teaching, but I don't like all of the extra foolishness that you have to deal with outside of the classroom. Um, or all of the limitations put on you even within the classroom. Um, I just think that, especially like my school has a textbook that we have to use as most schools do, but I really don't like the textbook. And I've done the same lessons now twice. So like with my first set of fifth graders, I did the lessons. And on my second set of fifth graders, I've done the same lessons. Of course, they've improved since my first year, but I just can't imagine doing the same exact work for a third year in a row, which is like probably another one of the main reasons why I'm kind of moving on. I'm just like, this is boring. Um, I, I love my students. I love my coworkers. Everything about my school and my situation is ideal. I have a great apartment. I'm in walking distance from my school. Like I really have no reason to complain about the setup that I have. And, and I'm not complaining. I'm just sharing with you guys a bit of my experience, you know? Um, because with anything, there's room for improvement, there's rooms to grow, there's things you like and there's things you don't like. Nothing is perfect. And for me, I also feel like I don't really... One of the, the, one of the big things that I hate about being an English teacher in Korea, like the public school system in particular, is the desk warming. And so for the future, spoiler alert, I do plan to stay in Korea a third year. Um, I just want to find a job that doesn't involve desk warming. It's like really just like killer. Like at first it was like, you know, the first year of it was like fine. Second year of it, it's like, you know, okay, I'm used to it. But I just like for my third year in this country, I just want to be doing something more fulfilling. You see, I've got these like acne scars here. Man, but I'm gonna cover them with some orange color corrector. Bye bye, uglies. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you, uglies. <laughs> I 
yeah so i'm hoping to transition from the public school system to uh, maybe the private sector or to university sector working with adults um, so i've been looking for a bunch of different positions for um, not next year really because my contract doesn't finish until august of 2019 um, but so maybe towards the very end of 2019 starting a new contract working teaching adults would be an ideal plan um, it wasn't a hard decision at all to decide to stay in Korea. Korea is just like such an easy... I'm making so much noise with my makeup. Korea is such an easy place to live and be comfortable and be happy. Um, I just like... Like with any place, it's not perfect and there's room for improvement and there's things that I just truly, truly hate. But the things that I hate are like luxury items or the things that I dislike about this country are not necessities the things that I hate about this country you know I'm grateful to have such petty annoyances petty issues or things that aren't life and death dire situations as they might be if I was living in the States um, one of my biggest pet peeves about living in this country is like taxis are awful um, another pet peeve is like I guess an issue that is not specific to Korea, just sort of international, is that like, in terms of looking for jobs, um, I just hear a lot amongst like other African American people that Koreans when hiring would much rather hire um, white staff members than they would people that look like me. Um, and so if you're applying for jobs and you and another candidate both, you know, have great resumes, but they can only pick one of you, the chances of them picking you are slim to none, if you know what I mean. So that's something that kind of makes me nervous when I think about like these next coming, these upcoming months and like when I start to actually look for jobs and to think that like it's gonna be harder for me than it would be for other people to find work. Kind of like makes me sad and also just like is annoying, which is part of the reason why I got my master's degree, just hoping that like every little thing will help and I really want to stay in Seoul like initially I was like oh it doesn't matter like for the sake of finding a job and having this experience teaching adults I will move anywhere and now I'm like nah Seoul or die <laughs> just kidding I just really want to stay in Seoul I'm not interested in going to another city so we'll see what happens with that I'm going with some concealer I'm gonna use the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Mocha. Um, if you're wondering what foundation I used, um, it was the uh, Estee Lauderdale Double Wear Stay in Place in the color Sandalwood. It's a really pretty foundation. Um, and like, it's a weird foundation because it matches my complexion like almost perfectly, but the undertones are a little off, so it can sometimes like make me look a little gray. But we're gonna fix that. Um, oh, sorry. I really want to participate in Vlogmas this year, like make a bunch of vlogs for December. Um, and I am definitely going to make some, but I just don't think my life is exciting enough to vlog every single day because my life is pretty standard. Like I get up, I go to work. I work until like 4.40, so I work like 8.40 to 4.40, and then I come home and I clean or I cook dinner, you know, watch a bit of YouTube, watch a bit of Netflix, and then I either make a YouTube video or I go to the gym, and that's kind of like my daily routine. I'd say my hobbies right now are just like trying to work out and get fit and also just trying to be consistent on YouTube. Um, so, where's my concealer and my contour? I love this empty matched it. Not too much. Add a little, you know. Definition, make me look a little skinty. A little skinty, you know, a little skinty. Small face. I look beautiful. This is what your catfish dreams are made of. But, hmm. 
I don't like to blend too soon. I like it to really sit and give me a full covered sort of brightening. I got this ice box. Why is Omorion in my head? That's so random. So what else can we talk about? I had a whole list, but now that I'm doing my makeup, I like honestly kind of forgot. But yeah, so I'm definitely staying in Korea for a third year. Um, I really, 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 really want to go home and like spend a few, you know, at least a month at home before starting my third contract. So my plan now is to finish this contract in August, go home, maybe do a little bit of traveling after I finish my second contract. And then um, find a new contract teaching adults that would start maybe in like October or November. That would be ideal. Um, I'm kind of disappointed because I wanted to like, you know, obviously I have a travel page and I talk a lot about travel and I love to travel. But this past year or so, like I have not really been doing that much traveling. I've been traveling like in Korea, so that counts for something. But, like, I haven't really been visiting other countries, and that's mainly just because, like, of money, honestly. And also, like, I'm getting my master's, and I have to pay for it. And so I can't really afford to, like, pay for my master's degree and travel the world. So, I feel like it's okay for me to take a few years of, like, traveling less than I would like to for the sake of, like, not letting this debt get out of control. There's really not that much debt, I'm just dramatic but yeah I have a few days off in February and I'm like trying to think about what I want to do uh, some of the girls were talking about oh that contour <laughs> is awful um, some of the girls were talking about maybe going to Vietnam or Japan I posted like on my Instagram that looks crazy but I'm gonna blend it out on my Instagram stories about maybe going to Japan by myself but I really don't want to do that I don't mind traveling alone but I don't know, it's just like traveling alone during the when like weather's warm and I can just go out and go for walks and stuff just seems a lot easier than like traveling alone in the winter. That just sounds like sad. And also like Japan is known to be quite expensive and when you're traveling alone, I feel like I tend to spend more money than when I travel with people because you can split the cost of taxis and stuff. And obviously you can't do that when you're traveling by yourself. So if I can, um, I would like to go on a trip with them in February but we'll see what happens you know and I'm like complaining like, oh my god I haven't been you know to a single country this year but it's like I live in a different country and some people live their entire lives and don't get to go to another country so I really have no reason to be complaining about anything and I and I realize that you know my life is pretty good I just want this to be a bit brighter you know a bit more snatched I'm just gonna go with a bit more of this concealer because it's just not it's just not poppin' the way I want it to be. Yeah, so I'm gonna let that sit a little bit on my face. And then I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow primer. And I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion Original. It's like a sample size that I've had forever. Like I don't know how this product still exists in my collection and like how I haven't finished it yet. It's so small, like I've had it forever. But it's all Chateau Primer. And I'm gonna be using my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette today. Blend out this concealer first. Ooh, yeah, snatch. Right. The weather in Korea right now is so unexpected. Last year, by this time, it was like absolutely freezing, and now this year, it's like not freezing at all. It's cold. And like I've heard like rumors that this is supposed to be one of the worst winters in Korea, so it's like kind of shocking that it hasn't started yet, and it's December, which makes me think that like this will be one of those winters where it's cold for like 
like way into where it should be spring it'll still feel like winter you know what I mean like one of those years when you're getting crazy snowstorms in March I hope not but I feel like at the rate we're going that's probably what's gonna be what happens um, but I'm still like I'm, I'm grateful with the weather it hasn't gone too crazy because I'm not a winter person at all I really hate cold weather um, the best part about winter is that I save money because I have no desire to go out and do anything uh, a little powder so I don't look like a greasy grease ball a little powder a little powder Ooh, doesn't that look beautiful? You're probably thinking like that looks crazy. That looks real crazy. I know, but it will it will come together. Trust me. So let's open up my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This is gonna be a super simple look because I'm honestly not going anywhere. Maybe just to a cafe. I'm gonna go on with the shade Golden Ogre. And just woo. Just pretty much just set that primer. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow. It's one of like my favorite formulas. I hope you guys can like see anything that I'm doing. And I'm trying to remember to like keep this mirror out of the way, but I'm sure it's getting all in the way. But this is my first time doing a video like this, so it's not going to be perfect, you know. And that's one thing that I've also been thinking a lot about. Like, I want perfection for so many areas of my life, and I realized that like perfection for no one in any area of, of anything comes you know immediately no matter what your hobby is no matter what your passion is no matter what you're interested in no matter what your career goals are it takes time it takes fails it takes awkwardness it takes you know it just takes trial and error trying different things seeing what works getting feedback from other people you know and so like for this channel as well moving forward it's like I'm just gonna c make contact I'm make content I'm gonna do what I want to do I'm gonna have fun with it and just not stress so much about perfection and I think eventually eventually I'll figure things out and the way my videos look now is not how they're gonna always look you know my channel as all channels will get better it just takes time and dedication and sticking with it and the goal would be to eventually find a system that really really works for me and stick with that. I'm doing a really neutral look, which is like not really my style, but I like it. It's not, it's not so bad being neutral every once in a while. But I just need to give it a bit more depth, deepen it up. So, it's crazy. I have like four or five eyeshadows on my eye right now, and like it doesn't look like it. But I'm gonna just make it a bit deeper. Deepen up the crease. Slowly build that up. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm adding a bit of depth to my eyes. Your shadows are so powdery and I love it. I feel like they're so easy to work with and like they just blend together so easily, so effortlessly. They're just my babies. I'm really interested in the new soft glam, not soft glam, um, sultry palette. But I'm like trying to not buy makeup for a few months because I don't need any makeup and I'm just like buying it because it's pretty and not because I actually need it. How many eyeshadow palettes do you guys have? I watch a lot of like, oh crap, why do I have still this powder on my face? First of all, this powder does not need to sit that long. Um, let me take this off. I'm gonna get my Becca, uh, what's this called? Perfect Skin Mineral Powder. It's like a powder, it's a, a powder foundation essentially. And it's in the color Sienna. And I'm gonna brush this powder away. I'm just sort of like put this all over. 
Okay. Okay. And that's basically just gonna warm me up. I'm gonna go around the edges with that powder also. Just to make sure I'm not looking too like bright. Just wanna I just want it to look warm and brown and toasty and healthy and sun kissed. You know? I'm gonna take another Becca powder, the same formula in the color cocoa and this is like a really deep chocolatey one and I'm going to just do a little contour help me look a little a little more snatched yes looking skinty ooh Chad how do you look so skinty <laughs> I'm so stupid Ooh, the catfish. Mmm. Catfish is delicious, apparently. It is my specialty. <laughs> Get that fish looking real skinty. Okay, I'm I'm not mad at that. Alright, so my powder is on. I'm looking hella cake face. My favorite look of all. I'm gonna go on with my CoverGirl Queen collection. Ebony bronzer. This is my holy grail product that I do not leave my house without. I just add a new level of warmth to my cheeks. A little bit of red. Also pretty. Just how much warmth can we have? Never too much warmth. Rosy, rosy, rosy. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm liking that. I like it like that. And then I'm going to finish up my eyes. I'm going to go Vermeer and back into my Modern Renaissance palette and just sort of brighten my inner corner. Like so. This eye needs a bit more. Maybe you're wondering why I didn't do my eyebrows. It's because I have micro, like they've been microbladed. So sometimes I do them and sometimes I don't. Um, they're not as dark as I would like them to be. So usually I would like make them a bit darker, especially on the ends. But I'm not pressed about it today. It really doesn't matter. So that looks, my face looks half decent, I think. Um, give this video a big thumbs up if I look crazy. <laughs> I'm using my Laura Mercier Medium Deep Glow Powder. I love this powder, and I forgot the Laura Mercier Glow Powder Brush. Because I'm fancy, apparently. I'm just going to give my face a little bit of... Ooh. Yeah, I like that. Oh, shiny. I love... I love... I just love to shine. Is that a crime to love to shine? Is that so wrong to love to glow? I'm just gonna, you know. Yes. Because I've used a lot of powders that make me look so matte, and I like the matte look, but I also, like, want to look human, you know, and not, like, casket ready. So bring some glow up onto my forehead. And just take that excess of the powder and just put it all over because why not I've come to glow and this is a glow powder I'm gonna put a bit more on my cheeks of some mascara and some eyeliner Ugh, it's down here I've got this is from a Korean brand this is the Misha uh, natural fix brush pen liner I really like this felt tip liner it's really easy to use when I do my eyeliner I like start from the very end and go out like that wow this is horrible a lot of pressure like doing my makeup on camera like this. And I'm just gonna bring it in. Uh, 
even though I think I did a, an okay job. And now I'm going to do my lips. I'm using my MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil. This is my baby. I can't imagine life without it, and I don't know why I ever tried to live without it. I think next time I do a video like this, maybe I'll do a, like a Q&A style and like ask you guys questions so I have a bit more like definite things to talk about. Um. Hey guys, so unfortunately my video cut out before I was finished filming, but as you guys can see, this is the final look. I hope you guys like it, something really, you know, super casual every day. Um, I'm gonna go and head out now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye my loves!